Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, then hello and welcome. My name is Wyman. I am coming to you guys with my first video of 2022. So first and foremost, happy new year. I hope that everybody has had a brilliant start to the new year. If you haven't and you felt a little bit like meh, like me, I feel like I felt a bit blare for the last few days and I feel like that's totally okay because you either start the new year feeling super motivated, you've got tons of new resolutions that you want to do, or you feel a bit like me where you're just like, well, you even think about the last two years where you're like, nothing's really happened and there's so many goals I've yet to achieve. And then you just need a couple of days to fix up and then you'll be fine. That's where I'm at at the moment. So if you're not feeling super upbeat for the new year, then it's totally fine. Anyway, I'm not gonna start this video on a Debbie Downer. We're actually doing something very, very exciting this week. So today I'm packing for a girl's trip where I'm going away with my best friend tomorrow for her birthday. So I actually surprised her with a trip to Manchester, but we originally were meant to go to Paris. And obviously now with the restrictions, you can only go there if you are working, which we are not. So we are now going to Manchester, which is like the next best thing. So yeah, we're going away from tomorrow and I'm packing. Obviously a girl's trip means that you're gonna bring out your best outfits. You're gonna bring out, oh, oh yeah, I need to address this as well. I feel like in every video I've got some kind of injury because obviously in the last video, I sprained my ankle. And that was when I see my best friend as well. And now I'm seeing my best friend for a weekend and I've gone and done this. I basically opened a can and sliced my fingers, um, not in half, but like I sliced my fingers and the cuts were quite deep and they've now been stitched up. So <laughs> this is my little makeshift stitch because it bled through the last couple of nights. So I've had to just put something on it temporarily. <laughs> I'm hoping I don't still have to wear this over the weekend because this is not attractive. Anyway, so onto today's video. So in today's video, I'm going to pack for our girls holiday. So I have done a lot of shopping. I need to show you the number of bags that are waiting in this room for me to try everything on. I've tried on some of them and then the rest I've just kind of left, which I'll try on with you guys now. I keep looking here because all my bags are down there. I've basically just like raided Pretty Little Thing and Opoly and also ASOS because I have next day deliveries and all of those. So it made sense to just get them in in time, even though I did order them last week. They've been sitting here for a week now. So now that my week is finally over, I can try on all these items and decide what I'm going to take with me for this weekend. Just to give you a little bit of background as well, I have already surprised my friend with where we're going and what we're doing because she came over and we exchanged our Christmas presents. So I just thought, you know, we're buzzing already and I thought I just need to tell her. How I intended to tell her was through one of these scratch card tickets. So I got this from Etsy literally like three weeks ago. So before Christmas, it just took so long to get here and it just didn't arrive in time for me to tell her, but I would have written where we're going here and then you can put the scratch bit on top. So she would scratch this and see where she's actually going. And then on here it just says, you're going away. I didn't want to get like a boarding pass one because obviously we're not flying anywhere. So obviously that would have been anticlimactic because we are still staying in the UK, but I'm still going to do this and have this ready for her to scratch tomorrow in the car because I thought that would still be quite exciting. And I put together a little hamper for her. So she opened it and it was, um, what did I get her? So I got her some travel bags. I got her some fake eyelashes. I got her some makeup wipes or like some makeup remover. And then I also got like a couple of things. And I just put it together as a hamper which I thought would just get her excited for us to go away and just some things that she might like to take with her when we go away. So yeah, she's already opened all of that and she does know where we're going. So tomorrow morning, we are driving up to Manchester. It's about a three hour drive, which is not so bad. I'm gonna take the train to her and then we'll drive from there. And then we will have a really bougie dinner Friday night. So we're really getting dressed up and getting glam Friday night. And then Saturday, we're going to have a bit of a girl's day, just shopping and just taking it quite chill, I think, and probably having a bit more of a relaxed dinner. Although I did just buy a lot of outfits, so I want to go glam. So maybe plans will change. And then Sunday, I'm going to surprise her. Well, I've already surprised her, but we're going to a spa and that's her actual birthday. So we're just ending off the weekend with a very relaxing massage. And then we're both back to back on Monday. <laughs> anyway, that is enough of me rambling. So this is what I'm talking about. This has been sat here 
for a week. And as you can see, some of them are open and then there's one that's not there, like the one that's not open. And then there's one that's not open here either. So I have tried on most of these things and I've already decided what I think I'll be keeping from the ones that I've opened. But the ones that I haven't opened, I haven't decided if I'm keeping them yet. I also actually reordered this small order here. It was a bikini and it was a bit too small. And that's the one that I want to wear for the spa day. And I also bought some new heels that were in a mega sale on Pretty Little Things. So I'm going to have a shower and then I will come back and I will try everything on for you guys. I'm going to keep my makeup on as well because I feel like when you try new things on, when you don't look, you know, completely put together on your face, it doesn't do any justice for the outfits. Okay, so I finished dinner and I wanted to start off with my favorite outfit from Pretty Little Thing. I do want to say I don't usually shop from Pretty Little Thing because I do find that sometimes the quality is quite cheap, but I was really, really impressed with the things that I've been ordering from here. I've got a bit of a belly from all the food that I've been eating today. So this is the outfit that I'm going to be wearing for Friday night dinner for our girls night. And then the heels, I'm still not sure. I got these for eight pounds from the PLT sale and it's a huge bargain, but I just feel like they make my toes look a bit stumpy. I feel like they don't really elevate them to make them look, not elevate, they don't elongate them to make me look taller. I just feel like I look a little bit stumpy. But yeah, this is my favorite outfit. You buy them separately. And weirdly enough, usually white is a little bit see-through apart from the tag here. It's actually not see-through, which is, a bonus. I also got this necklace as well. They're all like stuck together. So it's like a little stacking necklace from PLT as well. I think it was like six pounds. It's obviously not going to last, but it's perfect for just the weekend. Just to throw on when you go out and it's a bit more than like my usual jewelry. But yeah, this is the first outfit. This is the second outfit, which I am pleasantly surprised by. I did buy this in a size too big, so I'm gonna be returning this. And then I've ordered it again in my usual size, which is a six. I've ordered this in the eight. So as you can see, it's a little bit loose and a bit too much fabric around the waist, but still the style is so pretty. And it's like a weird, sexy doctor vibe, but I do really like it. I've just kept the heels on for the sake of styling with this outfit. So yeah, this is another successful dress from Pretty Little Thing. Before I show you this dress, I'm just gonna put a disclaimer out there. This dress is tight. I would size up if you have big hips or a wider bottom half because this isn't my usual size, which is a six, and this feels very tight across here. I actually really like this random bit of detail here. I think it adds something different to the dress. I think it would be perfect if you were going on like a cute summer holiday and it was like a nice dinner out but i think for a girl's night i might have to send this one back for now because it's not really something i'm gonna wear in the current climate because it is currently minus one degrees although having said that all of the dresses are gonna be short but i just mean because it's like a linen kind of vibe it's got this halter neck which always reminds me of summer for some reason so yeah i do really really like this dress but it's gonna go back for now and i'm gonna get it back in time for any spring or summer holidays. So moving on to the next item that I got from PLT. It's a little bit risque, as you can see, but I actually absolutely love it. I feel like it's so sexy. Green is so in this season at the moment as well. So I'm really loving getting this color into my wardrobe. But as you can see, I keep having to just double check that the girls aren't falling out. So I feel like I maybe should have ordered this in the size up, but then it would have been too loose on the shoulder or maybe the under boob is in at the moment i don't know it's obviously a bit too cold for that but i've currently just paired it with my favorite shorts because i did actually originally order some white trousers to go with this top but unless you're five foot 100 these are not going to fit you so let me show you these are the trousers that i had bought to pair with this top and honestly what the what i'm not even sure i'm five foot five and they literally could sweep the floor with me but how cute would this outfit have been with white trousers with some white heels but yeah this is um a dream so we're keeping it short and i've just paired it with these white shorts but yeah i think i'm going to keep this top because this will be so cute for date night or even for one of the dinners on the weekend. So the reason I said that sometimes I don't shop a pre law thing is because of the quality and this is the perfect example of quality that just doesn't really do anything for me. Like this came like this. I think that even if I tried to iron it and trying to make it straight, it wouldn't look that good. It just feels 
a little bit thin and just not that nice. So yeah, this is a no and this is going back. I did actually order it in, I thought I had ordered it in a light blue color, but it's come as this green. And then I also ordered it in a camel color, but it's come as a light pink. So I don't know, but yeah, at the moment I don't see this working in my wardrobe and it's really not a flattering and the quality is not what I want. So this is going straight back. This is the beige version. So I had thought it was a camel, but I feel like it's definitely more of a goldy kind of shine to it. There's a lot more fabric going on on the top in this one than there is in the other one. I ordered it in a size up. So I ordered it in a size eight in both of them and they fit perfectly. So I recommend sizing up, especially if you have a bigger chest as well. The V here does sit a little bit better, but I don't think I'll be needing this this weekend. So this one's really pretty, but I will probably return this and then get this for the summer. And weirdly enough as well, this one fits a lot nicer than the other one and it feels a lot thicker. So I don't know what happened there. This next top is 100% a yes from me. You can't actually see if you need to wear it with the sleeve on the left or on the right, but I've decided to wear it this way, but it's completely symmetrical on both sides. So you can wear it however you want. This fabric as well is like that ribbed stretchy kind of fabric, which reminds me of some of the stuff that's come out in Zara. You know, when you have like the crop top and the matching leggings, this is exactly that kind of fabric. I think this top was a lot more expensive than like the other Sandlow tops that they have. This one was 15 pounds, but it feels like such good quality and it feels really, really warm as well, which is gonna be handy because it's currently snowing in Manchester. So I'm going to need all the warmth that I can get, but still look glam. And I feel like this would work so well with so many jeans and different bottoms that I have. So this one is definitely staying. So the last few bits that I got from Pretty Little Thing are more kind of like travel friendly and more comfy pieces. So I got this top, which has like these ruched bits and drawstrings on the side. You can't actually adjust them. They're kind of set in stone set in stone, set in place. And I bought it thinking I could just pair it with like loose trousers. These are from Zara or just like any jeans and things like that. But I just think that having tried this on, this is quite tight and it's made me realize that I don't really like high necks. And it also is cutting into my armpit. So I think this one's gonna go back. It's not very comfortable and the intention is to be comfortable and this is just not serving that purpose. Next up is this white V-neck slinky crop top. And I'm just covering because I'm not wearing a bra and you can clearly see that. It feels really, really soft and really, really nice to be fair, but I don't usually wear V-neck. So I feel like, am I ever gonna grab it for my wardrobe? Is it like a neckline that I'm really comfortable with? I don't really have a big chest and I feel like V-necks usually flatter that a little bit more. I usually prefer like a square neckline or like a sweetheart one or like a bardo one. So I don't know, it feels really, really nice but I just don't know if I'll ever wear it. I forgot to show you guys this, what do they call this? A boob tube. I know it obviously doesn't go well with these trousers, but I just wanted to show you guys the top. It fits really, really well. It's really thick fabric, which is surprising because I remember it being not very expensive at all. And I know they do this in loads of different colors and I got it in my usual size. It does feel a little bit tight. So I recommend sizing up because it's still really kind of stretchy. So it's definitely gonna stay up as well. But yeah, nice little number from Pretty Little Thing, which I'll definitely be ordering going into summer. And I'll probably get a white to pair with a lot of my outfits or maybe even this green again. This outfit was intended for the car ride to Manchester tomorrow, but I ordered it in my normal size, which is a size six. And the trousers are a little bit too tight, as you can see across the waistband. And also, this is some kind of sick joke now, honestly. Also, I lied, I'm not five foot five. I'm five foot four, but you know, basically they are too long and I'd have to have them tailored. And I feel like this kind of plisse or plis or however you pronounce it, this kind of fabric probably won't tailor very well because it's super stretchy. Although I feel like I could probably get away with it if I wore some heels, but even then they'd be dragging across the floor. So these again are super long and I would also have to size up to a size eight to make sure that it's actually comfortable for me to sit down and breathe. The top is fine. I feel like you should probably tuck it up a little bit so that it falls forward so it gives it more shape but yeah I really like the top so I'll keep the top and then the bottoms I'll try it at an eight but I feel like it's one of those things that I probably won't keep it because if the six is too long 
the eight is definitely going to be longer. Okay, last but not least, this is the last item that I ordered from Pretty Little Thing. And this is more for maybe like Saturday in the day when we're going shopping. I thought this was really different and quite cute actually, because it almost looks like I've got a bit of a waist. I probably will be wearing it with these trousers as well. Or if not, I'll wear it with some skinny jeans or some boyfriend jeans, because then it kind of looks like it's going shoop and then shoop. <laughs> So yeah, and it's got a really short back as well. So I feel like you can get away without wearing a bra as well. But if you do, I feel like it's still fine. It kind of stops perfectly at that point. Just a little tip for some of the girls out there, because I don't know about you, but I try not to wear a bra nowadays. It's just a lot more comfortable. So if I can find something that I can wear it and it still looks good without a bra, it's a bonus. I did actually also want to show you one more thing that I got from Pretty Little Thing, but it was too small, so I've ordered it in the size up, which luckily has arrived on time, so I can take it with me tomorrow. This is the bikini that I've ordered to wear for our spa day on Sunday, so just look kind of like a Brazilian pants. And then this is really, really flattering, actually. It's got like a wire cup and then just quite thick straps which i also find really flattering because i've got really small shoulders so they almost complement them so yeah this is a really cute set in a rustic kind of orange as well which i really like so i ordered this originally in a size six and a size eight on the bottom but they're really really tight and really quite small and not very comfortable so i've reordered it again in a size eight on the top and a size 10 on the bottom moving on to the opoly orders that i made so i've ordered three dresses this actually took me ages to figure out how to get into it because I thought I had ordered the one where both the strings go across to one shoulder, but these strings feel like they are going to snap any minute now. So I think that this is going to go back because it's also quite tight across here, as you can see on the side. It's very, very flattering, but probably not quite what I was looking for. And I think I just got this because I couldn't get the other one. So it was kind of like a substitute last minute, but. Yeah, I'm just not really feeling it. I also feel very, very exposed. I feel like it doesn't give me much shape. It just hides like the important parts. So yeah, unfortunately this one is going back. This is the second dress that I got from Opoly. This would have been a serious contender if it fitted properly. This one twists at the bust, but then there is not enough fabric to actually cover the right side. So it doesn't feel very comfortable. So I'm having to hold it down here just so I don't flash anybody, but I love that there is a little bit of a puff sleeve. It's got that kind of ruching throughout the dress, which is really, really flattering and usually would create some shape. It's been stitched really weirdly here, so I feel like it's given me a weird shape on that side as well. So unfortunately, this again is also going back. So no luck so far with Opoly. This is the last dress of this haul. I know I did say that I have some ASOS stuff behind there. Oh, I've just revealed the dress. <laughs> I had some ASOS stuff behind there, but I'm not going to be taking any of that stuff onto my girl's holiday. So I'm just going to keep that there for another time because it's almost midnight and I haven't even started packing. I've just been showing you guys everything that I've bought. So I'm just going to show you guys this last dress from Opoly as well. It's quite a plain dress with just the ruching. But oh, I feel like it's not doing it any justice because I'm so bloated at the moment. But the party is in the back with this dress. You've got the crisscross back and then it ties up at the back as well. The ruching is really flattering on the bum. It actually makes me look like I've got one. And if I wasn't bloated, then it actually would look nice on the front as well. But I really, really like this. It does feel a little bit plain compared to what I would usually wear. But I like that there is a back detail, but maybe I could style this up with like an oversized white blazer or something but i think for this occasion i'm gonna send this one back because i don't see myself wearing this for any of the dinners that we're gonna have but this is such a good option if you are going out out or if you're going to a club or anything or like a quite a dressy bar then you could definitely dress this up with some big necklaces and also some rings or some earrings so yeah this is the last dress from opoly so that is everything that I got from Pretty Little Thing and also Opoly for my girl's holiday tomorrow, which I'm so excited for. I'm probably going to be vlogging that as well because I think it would be really fun to look back at the memories and also to look back at the outfits, of course. And then you guys can see what I've kept and what I've brought with me and how I've styled it. So yeah, I hope this gives you some kind of inspiration if you're planning on going on a girl's holiday. I feel like we dress up more on girls holidays than we do with holidays like with our boyfriends or girlfriends and like when we go on date nights and stuff although actually no i do dress up for date nights yeah i'm really excited for this holiday mainly for our outfits like i said but i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and seeing what i got from pretty little thing and also opoly and like i said i hope it gives you some kind of inspiration for your wardrobe also if you're going away with your girlfriends and i will see you guys in my next video bye